Hi. In the last class, I was dealing with hydraulic cylinders in special reference to hydraulic actuators. So, hydraulic linear actuators, uh, we had cylinders. I explained the different types of cylinders, the basic variants and the special cylinders. Along with that, we came across different accessories required for successful smooth operation of cylinders. Now, in this class, I am going to solve a numerical problems related to cylinders. So, the, a set of numerical problems has been chosen, keeping in the mind the examination, right. So, let us solve this problem systematically one by one. The first problem. The statement of the problem is like this. An hydraulic cylinder has a bore of 60 millimeter and the rod diameter is 25 millimeter. If the hydraulic input pressure to the cylinder is 12 mega Pascal, determine the maximum extension and retraction force generated in the system. So, we will solve this problem on the board. We will solve this problem. given is an hydraulic cylinder, right. The given dimensions, so hydraulic cylinder means you can have a diagram like this, right. So, this is reciprocation, right, inlet outlet. So, the diameter of the piston is 60 millimeter. The diameter of the ram is diameter of the rod is 25 millimeter. Pressure is 12 mega. Pascals. So, 1 mega Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per meter square, meter square. We have to find out the force for extension as well as the force for retraction. So, this is the force for extension and this is the force for retraction, right. So, let us apply the formula that is first case force for extension. force for extension. So, F we know that fundamentally pressure is equal to force by area, right. And uh, we know that force is equal to pressure into area we can generalize this. So, with this particular case, we can write force is equal to P into area. So, for extension, pressure is constant and uh, area is area of the what piston, area of the piston, right. So, what we need to do is, we need to look into the problem, right. So, there are two uh, possibilities, one is extension and retraction. So, in the extension, what happens? This is the piston, right. So, the fluid enters this piston and it is pushing this 
right. So, this is extension force. So, the entire area is considered. So, the pressure is acting on the entire piston. So, the entire area because the rod is on the other side, right. So, you have to consider the entire area. So, pressure is area is pi d piston square by 4, right. So, phi distance uh, d p square by 4. So, pressure is 12 Newton per millimeter square into pi into d p square d p square is how much 60 square divided by 4. So, if you simplify this you get 3396 Newton and uh, in terms of kilo Newton 33.96 kilo Newton is this is the extension right. So, you can note down the answer. So, F extension is 33.96 Newton. Now, the second one is retraction the second one is retraction. Same logic pressure is equal to force into area. Now, in the retraction we need to know what happens, what happens. So, in the retraction the piston is fluid enters here, it is going to, this is the piston, it is going to push this rod, it is going to move here. So, this is the retraction force, right. So, the pressure remains same, right, it is P, but the area, now we, what we have to consider is different, because the net area is available because not the entire area, the piston is not acting on the entire area of the piston, rather we have to deduct that rod area. So, the net area we have to consider, right. So, if you consider the net area, that is the area of, sorry, the net area the net area is equal to area of the piston minus area of the rod, right. So, we have to remodify net area, right. So, let us calculate now, right. So, pressure P into net area, area of piston minus area of rod, you have to detect that, right. So, let us simplify P into pi d p square by 4 minus pi by 4 into d r square that is equal to pi p by 4 into d p square minus d r square. So, you can substitute the variables 12 pi into 12 divided by 4 into d p square minus d r square 60 square minus 25 square. So, you get it as 28044. 28044 newton or 
28.0 Newton. So, this is F r right. So, F r is 28 Newton. Okay. So, always you have to cross check. See the extension force will be always greater than retraction force and also the velocity of retraction will be greater than the velocity of extension. Right? So, this is the problem. Please make sure that the area is important. In the retraction, we have to consider the net area, well as in the extension, we have to consider the direct area of the piston. With this, we move on to the next problem. We move on to the next problem, that is the second problem. The statement of problem is like this. In an hydraulic operation, the cylinder is required to extend against a load of 60 kilo Newton and retract against a load of 6 kilo Newton. If the cylinder bore diameter and the rod diameter are 60 mm and 20 mm respectively, determine the pressure of each stroke. Right? So, let us solve this application problem on the board. Let us solve this problem. Let us list this parameter. In a hydraulic cylinder, the given is an hydraulic cylinder, hydraulic cylinder. We have the diameters of the piston, diameter of the piston is 60 millimeter. The diameter of the rod is 20 millimeter diameter of the rod is 20 millimeter the force for extension is equal to 60 kilo newton force for retraction is equal to 6 kilo newton So, we have to find out the pressures for extension and pressure for retraction. So, both are we need to find out. Right? So, let us solve this problem. So, this is for the extension. extension. So, extension means you have a cylinder like this, right? you have a piston like this, right? you have the piston rod. right? So, the fluid enters. So, directly on the piston it is acting. So, it pushes the piston forward. So, this is the extension. So, this is the what force extension force and this is the extension pressure. right? So, we can calculate this as we know that the pressure is equal to force by area, extension pressure is equal to extension force by area, area of what? So, direct area because entire pressure is acting on the piston side. So, on the free side of the piston, the entire pressure is acting. So, I will take it as piston. right? So, you can expand and write A p is equal to pi into d p square by 4. So, we can 
substitute the variables f e is equal to 60 kilo newtons. So, 60 into 10 to the power of plus 3 newtons into pi by 4 into d p is equal to 60 millimeter square. So, 60 square pi by 4 into millimeter square 60 square right. So, I get answer as 21 right. So, I get answer as 21 Newton per millimeter square that is equal to mega Pascals. So, so, this is the first case right. Now, what about the retraction? What about the retraction? So, retraction we have like this the piston and the cylinder, right. So, in the retraction, what happens is the fluid enters here. So, so this is the P retraction. So, this is retraction. So, this is the retraction force. Right. So, the area available is the net area. We have to calculate the net area because pressure retraction pressure is always acts on the net area, extension pressure acts always acts on the piston area. Right. So, we know that pressure for retraction is equal to pressure for force for force for force for retraction divided by the net area. So, we will expand force for retraction as it is net area is area of the piston minus area of the rod right. So, we will continue simplifying F r into pi by 4 d p square minus pi by 4 into d r square. So, we can simplify pi by 4 into d p square minus d r square on substitution f is 6 kilo Newton. So, t x into 10 to the power of 3 Newton and pi by 4 as it is pi by 4 into d p square, d p square is how much 60 square minus 25 square. So, I, I have seen that the numerator is in the Newton and the denominator is in millimeters, right. So, I get 2.4 mega Pascals. So, I get 2.1 Newton per millimeter square or the retraction pressure is equal to 2.1 Newton per sorry 2.1 mega Pascal retraction is 2.1 mega Pascals 2.1 mega Pascals right sorry 2.4 the answer is 2.4 2.4 so pressure for attraction is 2.4, pressure for extension is 21 mega Pascals. Now, let us tabulate the results, let us tabulate, compare or tabulate the results, right. So, pressure if you uh, take the force, if you take the force for so let us uh, tablet like this the force for extension and the force for retraction so force for extension is how much 60 kilo newton force for retraction is 6 kilo newton right similarly the 
pressure pressure if you divide pressure for extension pressure for retraction so pressure for extension is 21 mega pascals for retraction it is 2.4 mega pascals right so we have to analyze this very important you can see the extension force is greater than the retraction force the extension pressure is greater than the retraction pressure of course velocity is not considered velocity of retraction is greater than velocity of extension so in this way you have to analyze the problem so let us write down the answers answers the let us write down the answer answer are the very important you have to write the answer the pressure of extension pressure of retraction the pressure for extension is equal to 21 mega pascals 21 mega pascal and uh, retraction is 2.4 mega pascal this is the answer so let us solve one more problem an hydraulic cylinder is required to lift a load of 120 kilo newton if the maximum fluid pressure available is 15 mega pascal determine the cylinder size right let us solve this problem on the board okay the given information you have to record the given information it says an hydraulic cylinder is required to lift a load of 120 kilo newton so i will take a vertical cylinder this time right so it is having a piston right and it is going to lift a load of what 120 kilo newton so this is the cylinder this is the piston so this has to lift a load of 120 kilo newtons right so this is the fluid so fluid be acting and it is going to lift so this is the pressure so what are the information given the a load of 120 kilo newton the pressure is 15 mega pascals and what is the dimension of the piston so to it's a straight forward problem we know that pressure is equal to force by area so in this case pressure is equal to load by piston area because the piston is exposed to direct area of the piston the pressure is acting on the entire piston though the surface area of the piston is ap right so pi by 4 into dp square so pressure is 15 mega pascals so 15 mega pascal means directly i can write like this w is 120 kilo newton so 120 into 10 to the power of plus 3 newton i can write pi by 4 the constant and diameter i'll express in terms of millimeter right so if uh, if i simplify this i get diameter of the piston as 101.9 so nearly it is equal to 102 mm so diameter of the piston is 102 mm 
right. So, this is a small problem, it is very important. So, diameter of the piston is equal to 102 problem, right. So, the rod, what about diameter of the rod? So, diameter of the rod also you can find out, you can take approximately one fourth the diameter of the piston. So, if you want to find out the diameter of the rod, so 25 percent of the diameter of the rod is equal to 25 percent of diameter of the piston. So, you may take diameter of the rod is approximately 25 millimeter. So, let us solve the next problem. Problem 4, it says that an hydraulic cylinder has a bore diameter and rod diameter of 100 mm and 30 mm respectively. The pump has a flow rate of 50 liters per minute. Determine the extension and retraction velocities. Now, let us solve this problem, the same extension and retraction problem. This time, we are going to find out the velocities, corresponding velocities. So, let us note down the given information, piece of information, right. The given information is diameter of the piston. So, the diameter of the piston is 100 millimeter. Diameter of the rod is equal to 30 millimeter. Diameter of the rod is equal to 30 millimeter. The pump has the flare rate of Q is equal to 50 liters per minute, 50 liters per minute. So, if it is 50 liters per minute, we can convert that into 50 into 10 to the power of plus 6 millimeter cube per minute, millimeter cube per minute. So, as usual we find we need to find out the uh, extension, the extension and retraction velocities, right. So, same thing here, right. So, let us find out first the extension of the piston, right. Then the retraction The extension it is like this, the piston will be moving like this, right, with a velocity, right. So, the fluid will be entering here. So, this is the pressure P and the area of the piston. In case of retraction, the fluid is entering like this, right. So, it is sorry extension and retraction, okay. Retraction is like this. So, velocity of retraction, right. So, fluid is entering like this. So, this is the area. So, the pressure is this much and the net area is A net that is equal to area of the piston minus area of the rod. So, this is some things you already know, right. So, let us calculate the velocity. Now, if you want to calculate the velocity, we have to, we have to use that equation Q is equal to A into V because the given is parameter is discharge. So, we can relate discharge by continuity equation q is equal to a v, right. So, q is equal to a v. So, q for extension is equal to area of q is equal to area of extension into, let us directly write the area, area of piston into velocity of the extension, right. So, Q is 
50 into 10 to the power of plus 6 a p is equal to pi by 4 into d p square, d p square is 100 square into v e, right. So, here uh, care should be taken. So, we get 6365 q, sorry we get velocity extension if you cross multiply 6365 millimeter per second. So, 10 to the power of minus 3, so you can raise, so you get in minute. So, because liters per minute, so you, you can uh, simplify this per minute. So, you get 6.36, 6.36 meters per minute. Now, you can extend the same logic q for a retraction is equal to net area multiplied by the velocity of retraction. So, we can expand this q r is equal to uh, we can uh, find out the net area, net area is equal to area of the piston minus area of the rod. So, pi by 4, I will take out the common factor. So, d p square minus d r square. So, pi by 4, pi by 4 into d p is how much? 100 square minus d r is how much? 30 square, pi by 4 into 100 square into v r into V r is we have to calculate the retraction, right. So, we will we will equate the final values. We can take this as 50 to 10 to the power of 6. So, simplify we can get V r retraction in terms of millimeter 6995 millimeter per minute or we get 6.99 meter per minute v retraction. So, extension velocity is 6.36, retraction velocity is 6.99. So, it has validated the result always here you have to compare very important the retraction the retraction velocity is always greater than the extension velocity right. So, let us solve the next problem. problem problem number 5. An hydraulic cylinder is designed to operate a load of 80 kilo Newton at a velocity of 0.5 meter per second. So, at this condition what is the output power from the cylinder? Let us solve this problem. An hydraulic cylinder is the given item here. It is having the, the force given is 80 kilo Newton. And the velocity is 0 0.5 meter per second. You have to find out the power output from the cylinder. It is a very simple sum. So, we know that power is the product of force into velocity. So, force is 80 kilo Newton, 80 into 10 to the power of plus 3 and velocity is 0 0.5. 
meter per second, right. So, this is in Newton, this is meter per second. So, power is equal to 40 kilowatts, 44,000, 40,000 watts or 40 kilowatts. This is the power delivered by the cylinder. We move on to the last problem. It's, it says that figure 2.24 shows the piston of an hydraulic cylinder moving with a velocity of 2 meter per second and delivering 1500 watts of mechanical power. If the power conversion efficiency of the hydraulic actuator is 95 percent, calculate the hydraulic input pressure to the actuator. This is somewhat unique type of problem. The diagram has been given. So, all the dimension has been mentioned here. So, this is the outlet pressure, inlet pressure, diameter of the rod is 5 centimeter, diameter of bore is 25 centimeter, stroke is 50 centimeter. Let us solve this problem on the board. Looking at that sketch, we can identify certain dimensions like the diameter of the piston. So, it is given in the sketch, the diameter of the piston is 25 centimeter. So, which is equal to 250 millimeter. So, from the figure, I am writing down these things dimensions. Next diameter of the rod 5 centimeter that is equal to 50 millimeter. Along with that he has given the efficiency of conversion that is 95 percent of the hydraulic cylinder. The hydraulic cylinder has a conversion efficiency of 95 percent and uh, the output power is 1500 watts. The velocity is 2 meter per second, 2 meter per second. What is the pressure? So, we have to calculate the hydraulic input pressure. So, this is the statement of the problem, right. From the figure, you get d p d r values, all these three parameters are available in the statement of the problem, right. So, let us solve the problem, right. So, one by one, what is the process. So, process is extension and retraction. So, power is being delivered in the process. So, first let us find out how power is related. We know that the power is equal to velocity into pressure, power is equal to velocity, so velocity into force velocity into force, right. So, power is equal to velocity into force, but the conversion efficiency is power output to the power input. So, any efficiency is output by input. So, power output to the power input to the cylinder, right. So, we have 95 percent that is 0.95. So, this is P output is 1500. So, P input. So, P input is nothing but 1500 by 0.95, right. So, that is very important power is equal to velocity into force, right. So, if we consider the retraction. So, if you consider the retraction, right. So, what will be the 
power input right so power is equal to 1500 divided by 0.95 is equal to v velocity is 2 meter per second into fr retraction force so we get retraction force fr equal to 789.5 0.5 newtons. So, why we have taken retraction? Because retraction is the work done by the system, sorry work uh, extension is the work done by the system, retraction is the work done on the system. system. So, let us continue further, right. So, we know that force for retract uh, uh, we know that the pressure is equal to for retraction is equal to force for retraction into the net area you are very well aware that for retraction net area is taken into consideration for the extension the direct piston area is taken into consideration. So, that is equal to F r into uh, area of the piston minus area of the rod, right. So, we can calculate the net area. So, this is equal to the So, directly I will take pi by 4. So, if you want you can uh, calculate the net area, net area is equal to A p minus A r. So, pi by 4 into d p square minus pi by 4 into d r square, pi by 4 into d p square minus d square r. Okay. So, we can bring in here. So, this one, so we can bring here. So, d p square minus d r square, d p is how much? 250 square minus 50 square, right. So, 250 square minus 50 square. So, you get the numerator is in terms of Newton, the denominator in terms of millimeter square. So, the answer will be Newton per millimeter square, so, that is we will get 0 0.0168, 0 0.0168 Newton per millimeter square or same 0 0.0168 mega pascals. This is the pressure input to the actuator. So, the pressure input to the actuator. So, if you draw the diagram like this. So, if this is the retraction stroke, right. So, fluid enters here. So, the net area is taken into reckoning. So, A net and this is the pressure input, right. So, pressure input is 0 0.0168, area net is this much. So, with this we come to the uh, end of this segment where we solved 5 unique problems from the topic cylinders. So, here uh, care should be taken in a one point that is while calculating the areas. So, in case of uh, extension, you consider direct piston area. In case of retraction, you have to consider the net area that is the piston area detected by the rod area or sorry the piston area minus the rod area. You have to detect the rod area from the piston area and few important points you need to consider 
the first point the retraction force will be always less than the extension force the retraction velocity will be greater than the extension velocity and the pressure the retraction pressure extension pressure will be greater than the retraction pressure but the displacement will be more in the extension compared to retraction so all these things you need to know to check whether you have done the problem correct or not compare the values keep these points in your mind and conclude that the problems what you have done is correct or not thank you